of all the women who do their wash, she has the cleanest wash in town. Since the launch of Tide in 1946, Procter & Gamble has obsessed about its superior cleaning power. Get Tide, then you'll rinse out the cleanest wash in town. From proving it in the laboratory to showing it in advertising. The liquid Tide got all of the stains out on both the grass and the blood. In the US in particular, it's a brand close to customers' hearts. Look, I'll give you this one. Give me the Tide, I'll give I'm you I'm sorry, tide. you lost the box. The roots of Tide are always the voice of the consumer. So if you pull back to letters, campaign or to family ties or now to my tide all of these are storytelling of consumer insights around life and laundry very consistent to what the brand has done the ads have evolved at the same rate as tide products P&G has never shied away from trying different ways to advertise including this slightly bizarre advert that became a talking point featuring a talking stain I'm actually very, very good with groups in a world where ads fight for attention, Tide aims to stand out. One such example was, it's a Tide ad. It's a Tide ad. What? It's a Tide ad. No. Tide ad. During the 2018 Super Bowl, the brand set out to hijack every ad, reminding the audience... It's a Tide ad. The award-winning ad helped change how Tide works with agencies and led to the creation of an entirely new agency called Woven. Woven birthed out of Tide Ad, and that created a intersection between our creatives, our media, our influencer, everyone coming together. And we said, how do we make this a repeatable model? That radical collaboration sees Woven as an agency of agencies, all sat together, all for P&G's fabric care brands. It combines our MMK, which is our influence agency. It has talent from Gray, it has talent from Saatchi, it brings in Publicis, it brings in our design agency, Nice. So we have everyone on that floor sitting together. And it has, importantly, our fabric hair media agency. And many marketing functions are coming in-house, like media planning and buying. And that's helping how Tide reinvents advertising, trying to encourage people to spend time with the brand without being interruptive. We're trying to reinvent advertising by finding advertising the consumer looks forward to. So we're merging the ad world with the entertainment industry, the sports industry, and we're finding interesting, positive ways to create those stories that drive interest for the consumer. Sundays are now 100% NFL, not for laundry. Pardon me. So when we did the Tide NFL program with Not For Laundry, we actually created a four-week debate between the NFL and NBC partners. Never been done before. Was that advertising? Was that content? Was it entertainment? A little bit of both. Oh, it's oh, oh, Did you see that? Oh. Yes! Are you kidding me? Now i got to go wash this! Not now, it's the Super Bowl. But it's those so-called tentpole events that allow the brand to create memorable moments. In the Super Bowl that just happened, the insight we had was that the weekend is for chores, but no one wants to do chores on the weekend. So Tide Power Pods is designed for laundry for later. You can wait. <gasps> What if I spend my entire life waiting for later? Or what if later never comes? So then the whole story that Charlie Day and Emily Hampshire were able to talk about throughout the Super Bowl was all around the fact that laundry can be done later. Making it relevant, merging in Wonder Woman by inserting those different relationships in a new and fun way. We won't be doing that today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow works. And technology continues to help Tide and other P&G brands reach the consumer. We're looking for new technology. We're looking for new ways to create a superior consumer experience. And so the first interactive ad at the Super Bowl was something we wanted to be a part of. Letting the consumer choose their direction is a great way to interact with ads. America, do you think we can handle this? The consumer does like to engage. They like to present their opinion, and they affected what the ad was that ultimately aired. There's no doubt that creativity married to data leads to positive business results. Tide has won 23 Can Awards, a black pencil, over the last three years. But importantly, Tide business is up, and it's connected to that creativity of problem solving. So post-Super Bowl, Power Pods were up 30%. Tide in February is up 5% as a total brand. So we believe that we have the best business results when we have the strongest, most creative work that helps the consumer relate to the brand. You're wrinkling it all up. Come on, that's not folded, that's crunchy.
Hi, I'm James Wright, and thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.